Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun. In the last episode, we cleared out the first book, and in this episode, we are going to be attempting book two, The Lost Age. So, with that in mind, let us, um, completely forget that we have a joypad number two set as the default. Transfer data from Golden Sun, yes. And now is when I stop recording and get things set up. Hey guys, welcome back for more Golden Sun and, uh, volume. Yeah. Okay, that's a little better. Anyway, we are going to... Okay, what you want to do here is, when you have clear data on this thing, you want to hold R and left and press B. And that gives you the send menu. This is in Golden Sun 1. data. Now I switch back to our other menu, or our other thing, transferring data. And just like that we are all set. So it is time to close out visual, this visual boy advance. And we are all ready. Let's go. As you can see, we have the stats and the items for everybody in the original Golden Sun. And so with that in mind, we are ready to go. Ages ago, or so the stories tell, the power of alchemy ruled over the world of Wayne. Alchemy walked the base elements of humanity into thriving civilizations of lead and gold. But in time, men's dreams gave birth to untold strife. Dreams of endless riches, of eternal life, of dominion over all that lived. Dreams of conquest and of war. These dreams were to torn the world apart if not for a few brave, brave and wise men who sealed away the power of alchemy deep in Mount Aleph's soul sanctum. Prologue book one. Town of Vale guarded the secret for many years until Isaac and Jenna, whose parents died in a storm three years before, disturbed the sanctum. Satros and Minardi of the Mars Clan followed them into the Sanctum. With them traveled Jenna's brother, Felix, lost, lost in that same tragic storm. Satros and Minardi stole the Elemental Mars Stars, the keys to breaking the seal on the power of alchemy, and kidnapped Jenna and the scholar Graydon. If these four jewels were used to fire the Elemental Lighthouses, the seal on alchemy would be broken. Isaac and Garrett set out to stop Satyrus, rescue their friends, and return the Elemental Stars to their home in Soul Sanctum. They banded together with a young wind adept named Ivan and pursued Satyrus and Minari to Ima, a winter-locked town near Mercury Lighthouse. There they met the Guardian of the Lighthouse, a water adept named Mia. With her, they pursued Satyrus to the airy, high atop Mercury Lighthouse. Isaac was too late to stop Satyrus from lighting the beacon and escaping. Again, Isaac chased him, crossing Angara to the shores of the Caragol Sea. Taking passage on a troubled ship, Isaac crossed the Caragol to Tolby, 
He spoke with Toby's leader, a strange man named Babby. Babby entered Isaac and Colosso as a test of his powers. Isaac's synergy won Colosso and earned Babby's trust. Babby revealed a great secret to Isaac. Thanks to a mystic draft from the lost land of Lemuria, Babby had lived for 150 years. He offered to help Isaac, who then headed deep into Gondola. In the town of Lalavero, Isaac learned that Satyrus and Inardi had kidnapped a young girl named Shiva, whom they needed within the lighthouse. Isaac fought and defeated them atop the lighthouse, but he was too late. The beacon had been lit. A great cataclysm followed. Shiva fell into the sea. Felix jumped, jumped in to save her, but both were lost in the rolling waves. Jenna left the lighthouse to find them, but to no avail. Isaac went to Lalavero, where Fabi asked him to find Lemuria and the remaining lighthouses. He gave Isaac a Lemurian ship to make the journey for the lost land. This chapter of our story begins with Jenna, just before the beacon on Venus Lighthouse is lit. This is the only Golden Sun game. Actually, no, that's not true. This is the first Golden Sun game I have actually owned. So, this brings back a lot of happy memories for me. Let me just say that here we see Felix and Jenna and Creighton, and Felix is opening the way out of the lighthouse and leaving Jenna and Creighton behind. Are you sure we should be leaving like this? Once we go down these stairs, we can't get back into the lighthouse. Maybe I should have stopped my brother. Jenna, is something troubling you? I just... What is it? What's wrong? I have a bad feeling. Like something terrible is going to happen. How unlike you, Jenna. Surprised to see me? Alex! Were you listening? Where's Felix? Why isn't he here with you? My brother? He left us. What can Felix possibly be thinking? He was worried about Shiva. He went to check on her. He was supposed to be leaving you out of here. I thought you would have been far from this lighthouse by now. Why are you still here? We tried to stop Felix from going back to, up to the airy. How like him. Once Felix gets an idea into his head, he rarely changes his mind. Alex, what were you talking about just now? What did you mean when you said, how unlike you? I was merely expressing a... I was merely surprised to hear you expressing such concern, Jenna. Nevertheless, I'm impressed Felix went back. Don't change the subject, Alex. What did you mean? Are you saying that I'm insensitive? That's what you heard, I must have misspoken. Accept my apologies. Well, Jim, I think Alex has said his piece on the matter. I'm not sure he has, Craven. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? I recheck my statement right here. Forget all about Jim. So tell me about this feeling, Jim. I'm just... I'm not sure we should be leaving Venus Lighthouse yet. What are you saying? I can't really mean to remain here. Alex is right, it's far too dangerous, Jenna. We would only hinder the others. The others? Did Isaac follow us to the lighthouse? You think so. He must be trying to stop Satyrus and Minority! If my brother goes back and finds Isaac, they're gonna end up fighting. The Venus lighthouse has not yet been lit. Yes, they will fight. 
Felix is a terribly rash young man, is he not? Why are your boys such fools? He may be rash, but Felix is no fool. His good qualities outweigh his bad. That's why I think Isaac would understand if we just talked to him. Why didn't I think of this before now? Please, can't we go back up and talk to Isaac? I'm afraid that's not possible. Alex, why? He is an enemy. Isaac, an enemy? Our methods may differ, but you and I ultimately want the same thing. To light the all the lighthouses. Isaac and his friend would prevent this from happening. So that makes them enemies? But fear not, they won't be able to defeat Satras in the dark. So, Felix went back to the top of the lighthouse. Why do you seem so pleased, Alex? Why shouldn't I be? After all, the lighthouse will soon shine brightly once again! Alex, why do you want to see the beacon lit so badly? Oh, so it's my turn to answer questions, is it? Once, alchemy was commonplace throughout the world. With its power, mankind worked wonders across the land. The lost age of man. I want to see that world restored once again, and... And what, Alex? We've spoken long enough already. Let's continue this another time. We should leave the lighthouse now before it be inspired. I concur. Let's meet the location we agreed on and wait for Felix. Alright, Creighton, let's go. There she goes. Alright, so now we get to see how much Jenna has grown as an adept since we last saw her. As you can see, she is level 5 now. Her stats are alright, I guess. And she knows a synergy called Fume. This is a single targeting attack with a bit more power than Flare, I think. She has her Wind Stick, Pad Glow, One Piece Dress, and the Herb. Pretty standard stuff. Now, is there something up here? Also, this is awesome, Jenna finally has a running sprite. Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm just Anyway, the first place we're going to go is here. Because it leads us to this thing here. Which gets us a treasure chest. The chest was already open, but it looks like there's still an herb inside. Aw, oh, how sweet. Isaac must have put an herb in there for Jenna. Pick all that. <laughs> birds! Look, look at, at the birdies! I want to kill them. Oh, they ran away. There they are! Get them! I had him sent in us to stand guard here, but I never thought we'd actually run into them. Scoundrels, what have you done with Shiba? Return her now or you're really going to regret it. Uh, aren't there supposed to be more of them? Huh, maybe they're, just, maybe they're just the first one to come out. Great, that means we've got them We can probably take them, you think? Go fetch the other Toby soldiers, stay stationed in a lot of air. Yes, sir! Don't tell the guys in the caves. Got it, boss. How unfortunate. It looks like an ambush. What should we do, Jenna? What do you mean? Look around. We'll have to fight them. Are you serious? Jenna, are you, are you really prepared to fight these men? We don't have any other choice. We have to. Well then, allow me to shoulder some of your burden. Burden? 
We regroup along the road leading away from Lalavera. Do you understand? You'll need to remind us out, so we know the place. Follow this road west, and take the path down through the canyon to the cave. On the other side of the cave, you'll find a small peninsula called Idejima. We meet there. Thankfully, one of these workmen brought a blocky route. And, and fortunately, they don't look too tough. HELLO! WE CAN HEAR YOU! THAT'S JUST PLAIN RUDE! Want the two of you escape and leave the total soldiers to me. Two of us? Alone? You can use synergy, can't you, Jenna? Um, yes. Then you'll be fine. We shall reconvene at the peninsula. Do you think you can take on Toby's finest on your own, little man? I do not wish to inflict unnecessary bloodshed. Don't wish to. What's that supposed to mean? If you lay a hand on these two, I assure you that you will be made to regret it. By advancing, I assume you need to fight. Permit me to strike the first blow. <clears throat> I don't know, buddy. Whatever he did is out of our league. You guys deal with him until backup arrives. Oh, so you're next? Hey, no need to worry about us. We're not soldiers. We're not anybody. That's seriously, there's no way we're going to face off against you. Let's get out of here. Don't. <laughs> This game is a lot funnier than the last one, let's just say that. How undignified. How shameful. Jenna, now is your chance. Go to Idejima and wait for me. I'm not finished with you yet. You mentioned backup from the Oliveira. Let's go meet them together, shall we? Hey pal, when they get here, you'll really be in for it. Do you honestly believe that even a hundred of you could stop me? How amusing. This I must see. <laughs> They're gone. Come on, Jenna. Let's be going. There's nothing standing in our way now. But... What is it now? Ah, you worry about hurting any innocents? No! Oh, you must be concerned about Felix. We can't do anything to help him here. Let's get going. To the peninsula. Peninsula. 